Big thank you to everybody who sent in questions of the day yesterday. Today's mini lesson is going to be on limiting fears, the fears that hold us back. So for this, I'm talking about fear in association to when you are starting a new business venture, when you have a work goal or a health goal. Fear is not a bad thing. It is actually a feedback asking us to reassess whether this is truly aligned with our highest values and our greater mission. So fear number one, I call this fear the fear of loss or rejection in relation to a loved one. So the fear of loss and rejection when it comes to a loved one is because you have an emotional tie to these loved ones. You subordinate to them to some degree. And usually the number one emotional tie that people subordinate to are their parents. And I did a mini lesson on parents last week. If you want to go check that out, you can go check it out on my YouTube channel. It's called Parents Snapchat Mini Lesson. If you continue to live your life from one gratification to the next gratification, constantly seeking and wanting support from your parents, for example, and when you continually inject their values into your life and you are subordinating to what they want for you or what their values are, then you're minimizing yourself. And that's why having a fear of losing their love or a fear of them rejecting you is a limiting fear. It is limiting you from being your best version. Fear number two, the fear of not being good enough and of being a failure. So some people might be thinking, oh, I'm not young enough or I'm not old enough or I don't have enough vitality. I'm not as good looking. And again, this fear comes from a place of you subordinating yourself in comparison to others. You've put somebody up on a pedestal and you've minimized yourself. When you have this fear of not being good enough and of being a failure, it just goes to show that you're not honoring your own uniqueness. You're not honoring your own genius and your own body. You have been given a body that is perfect for you to use to help you fulfill the mission that you are here on earth to do. And the third fear, the final limiting fear, is the fear of loss or lack of money. So if you currently have a fear of that you don't have enough money or you feel like you're gonna lose a heap of money, again, it is a feedback that you need to ask yourself. You need to ask yourself, is this goal truly aligned with my highest values or am I injecting the values and goals of others into my life? Because if this is truly a goal that you've got aligned with your highest values, you will have a product, you will have a service that you can share with the world and be handsomely rewarded for. So to recap, these are my three really common limiting fears. So number one, the fear of loss or rejection from a loved one. Number two, the fear of not being good enough, the fear of being a failure. And finally, the third limiting fear, the fear of loss or lack of money, not going to have enough money. The really interesting part about all three of these fears, if you paid close attention, is a lot of them come down to you minimizing yourself and subordinating to others. So when you can break your subordination to outer authorities and loved ones and start being and honoring the most magnificent person that you are, there is no fear. That is my mini lesson for today. They are the three limiting fears. If you have any other questions or any other topics you want me to cover, Snapchat me.